Hi everyone and welcome again in my channel ICT Active Learners and today we are going to work with the Cambridge IGCSC ICT 2016 May June paper 31 spreadsheet part. So when you move to the spreadsheet part of this question paper, I mention here to that you are going to prepare a spreadsheet to manage the budget and create charts comparing six global projects unless working in local currency local currencies and then display all currency values rounded to the nearest US dollar the file 1631 currency.csv contains information about countries and their currencies so make sure that you use the efficient method to do each task first of all Using a suitable software package, you can load the file 1631 sheet. So we'll go to the files here on this top. We have all sorry, we have all these files. So 1631 sheet, and then after they say save this file as a spreadsheet with the file name 1631 underscore your center number and then candidate number. So file save this one as click on browse so 1631 then underscore om032 and then underscore your candidate number as a workbook or as a spreadsheet so once you are done with the saving here next step is to insert two new rows above row one so just click here then right click insert a row and then insert one more row just like that and then in cell a1 enter the text or title tmcp projects 2016 and then in cell a2 enter your name center number candidate number so here i am going to type my name then center number and then candidate number next is merge cell a1 till h1 so from a1 till h1 you just merge them and then format this cell center text is center line with a white 36 point sensor font so text is white and then it is 36 point sensor so i always prefer to use arial and then it must be center aligned as well and then they mention it has a black color background and the background is black just like that and the data is center aligned and then in cell b4 enter a function to look up from the external file 1631 currency the name of the currency for honduras so first of all i will open this uh, currency file as well and then in b4 i need a function to look up the currency name so we'll mention here equal to v lookup then bracket start by looking at the data in cell b3 that is our lookup value and then after comma we need to go to our table array here so for table array here is country and here is a currency so from this point e2 till the end all currencies are here just like that and then after comma in third column we have currency and then comma false bracket close press enter so you will get the currency for that country and then after in cell b5 enter a function to total the amount of money in local currency for the honduras so they want us to total uh, the value of the currency for different countries so equal to sum if in cell uh, b5 they said yes yeah, sum if then bracket start what i am uh, looking for here we have the uh, values from this point 
yeah from b9 till the end that is my range then comma criteria so criteria i will look at cell b3 then comma sum up the amount which is here from uh, c9 till c198 just like that and then after we just use here in both the cases the absolute reference here as well here and then here and then here as well so we have not not to change this criteria because it might get changed not going to fix it and then press enter so we get the value and next step is to in cell b6 enter a formula to look up from the external file the exchange rate for the local currency to us dollar for honduras multiply this value by the total for the local currency and round to the nearest dollar so you need to round it so first of all i'm going to look up the value equal to look up then by looking at this value then the table array is here so we'll choose that data from this point and till this one till d and then we select this all till the end then we use a comma the currency was in currency rate was in column 4 as you can see here column 4 is currency and then false false I get close press enter so you got the currency rate now you what you need to do is you need to multiply this value with the uh, local currency which is written here because we need to convert this one US dollar so then here at the end you just say star and then B5 and enter so it is multiplied with the currency now they say to round it to the nearest dollar so again double click and then type here a function round then bracket start this all value then comma to the nearest zero and then just press enter this is what you will get now next step is replicate the formula entered in step 17 18 19 for each project so just click here replicate this formula here then this one as well and this one as well just like that yeah and then next step is to in cell h6 enter a function to add the total income in us dollars in h6 so now we need to go to cell h6 to enter the total income so here is h6 equal to sum then bracket start from b6 till g6 then bracket close that's the sum and next step is sort the list of individual donation into ascending order of project then descending order of amount so we need to click here and then format sorry filter choose the filter so what we need to do is we need to uh, individual donation into ascending order of project ascending order of project a to z and then descending order of amount and then descending order of amount that is done now next step is apply appropriate formatting for all cells in uh, row 3 and row 6 so row 3 and row 6 so we need to apply these changes for example uh, we just uh, select this one yeah then right click and then format then currency us dollar and then this one must be as they have mentioned here they need this one to be the nearest or local currency so we just need this one to be in the dollars with the zero 
so just like that and then after we fix this one as well now this one is in the lamp pair this one is rupia this is rufia so we need to fix this one as well right click and then format cell currency and then we need to choose for this one uh, andros lampia lampira you will choose uh, lampira here for each one yes so you need to check uh, proper uh, formatting otherwise you will your data will not be or your report or result will not be the required by them so i think i have missed somewhere this emperor so just concentrate a little bit to get the actual result yes I'm going to increase the speed of my video as well if to just to get the data. So after this all formatting as you can see we choose from here Rupia, Rupia for Indonesia and Lampera that is done. Now next step is to move forward to uh, step number uh, 24 save your spreadsheet and print only from a1 till i6 showing the formula so what we need to do is formula show formula here and then we need to increase this uh, these cells so from uh, a1 they have mentioned to i1 so we need to print them equally yes just like that showing the formula for each step and then after we need to click on page layout and landscape and after that page break preview what we need to do is just need to decrease this area and then we need to uh, print this all one by one like if it can fit to a single page just like that and the others can fit too so you just need to print them yeah so print preview so here is the preview you just need to print this information and then after uh, what else they need they want the row and column heading to be displayed in this case you need to click on page setup sheet and then click here row and column heading it will be displayed here and then you just print one by one these pages so one thing you have to make sure that the number of pages are more here so you need to fix this one first by just uh, arranging each and every side and you can just uh, hide this data as well so you print this page one seven and so on and next step is to uh, print the spreadsheet this time showing the formula fit in a single page wide and contents are fully displayed so now click on uh, formula here show values and let's go back to the normal now and this one we just go to the end here just like that click on normal here and then fix these cells just like that by double clicking on each cell here that is done so you will print this time these values so print and then just move here so that is uh, one thing you again you have to check uh, here just to extend this one like that so you can just print these values now so they are only three pages just like that you can further uh, make this one uh, bigger as well by just uh, making this one small from here little bit 
and then file print and you can just uh, increase increase the zooming of this one page just like that and you can print the values but make sure the contents are clearly visible in some cases the contents are not clearly visible then the marks will be detected in this case now next step is to extract only the data for fiji and maldive where the amount of donation was more than 90 so you need fiji and maldive here so just click here fiji and maldive and the amount they have mentioned here this amount uh, more than uh, donation was more than 90 so just click here and then just uh, filter greater than 90 then just click on ok so this is your required result so you just need to print this one as your extract yeah, this is all the information you have in this sheet yeah so you just need to print this one what else they have mentioned here uh, yeah uh, the extract then after uh, print outfit on a single page and then after content are fully displayed that's all and then after you need to save and uh, print your uh, evidence document as well you have already your evidence document so th and that's all from the uh, spreadsheet part of this question paper hope you, hope you have learned how to deal with the uh, spreadsheet and how to use the formulas so please please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates thanks for watching